like to thank everyone for joining us this morning. I'd like to acknowledge the Studebaker Museum staff, as well as the Studebaker Drivers Club. I'd also like to thank everyone who decided to join us this morning to honor and recognize the Studebaker Museum, as well as the Studebaker Drivers Club. I'd like to start this part of the celebration by asking the mayor to read the proclamation. Great. Well, uh, uh, just before I get to the proclamation, I want to say uh, how delighted South Bend is uh, once again to be hosting the meet. I've uh, really enjoyed uh, uh, getting to know the uh, Studebaker Drivers Club leadership, uh, Tom, who's with me, as well as uh, uh, the staff that uh, we know very well and, and the board over at the Studebaker Museum. I hope everybody uh, feels welcome here in town, that everybody enjoys everything that the downtown and our city has to offer. And uh, we sure are happy to see you here, and uh, I'm already looking forward to the next time uh, we'll be able to welcome the meet. Uh, so it wouldn't be a, a mayoral appearance without a proclamation. And uh, we've got one that uh, begins, whereas Henry and Clement Studenbaker founded a blacksmith shop in South Bend, Indiana on February 16, 1852, that grew to become the world's largest horse-drawn vehicle manufacturer. And whereas the Studebaker Corporation produced some of the industry's most critically acclaimed automobiles and commercial vehicles, whereas the Studebaker family actively participated in South Bend's growth and development through countless acts of community service and stewardship, Whereas the Studebaker family's many gifts to the community continue to benefit South Bend in the 21st century. And whereas the Studebaker values of hard work, innovation, giving more than you promise are shared throughout the South Bend community. And whereas the Studebaker legacy is a touchstone of the community and remains an integral part of the South Bend cultural fabric. And whereas the Studebaker National Museum is dedicated to the preservation and presentation of Studebaker history, and its role in America's industrial landscape. And whereas the Studebaker Drivers Club, the Antique Studebaker Club, and the Avanti Owners Association International actively preserve the car collector hobby for present and future generations. Therefore, I, Pete Buttigieg, Mayor of the City of South Bend, Indiana, do hereby recognize and proclaim the week of July 29th as International Studebaker Week. And I ask all our citizens to uphold this week as a reminder principles that the Studebaker legacy has instilled in our community. And uh, to accept on behalf of drivers, we're going to ask Tom Now I think we can get, let's get three hands. Becky, why don't you join us? Sure. Uh, we can go ahead and get in the street side here. Just kind of pass it over this way. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you to all the citizens of South Bend, Indiana, on behalf of the Studebaker Drivers Club, the Antique Studebaker Club, the Museum, the Avani Owners. I just cannot tell you how thrilled we are to be welcomed the way you have made us feel more welcome than ever here in South Bend this year. The banners are a testament to that, and uh, I appreciate the fact that you gave us some good weather for the week and renamed Michigan Avenue Studebaker Drive. That's just terrific. I would also like to just say thanks to the Downtown South Bend uh, Association and the St. Joe County Convention Bureau, who have been just huge supporters of everything that we've tried to do. We have. Uh, nearly 15,000 members if you include all the clubs and the museum members and every five years as I think you're aware we, we, we have our international convention right here in South Bend and this is coming home for most of our membership and uh, it means an awful lot to them and your hospitality just is unequaled and we just want to thank you one last time. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention was this uh, our festivities all week long are open to the public and uh, at the fairgrounds, it's free admission. Uh, there is a parking fee, but uh, Thursday night is the big night. We'll have a parade from the fairgrounds. We expect probably 400 cars, and uh, we'll all be in the downtown area. We'll have a band on the uh, the uh, College Football Hall of Fame, and uh, and uh, it's just going to be a great thing. And it's open and free that evening for the entire community. So thank you again, and. Uh, and I'll turn it over now to Becky Bonham from the museum. Thanks. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you, Tom. I do want to just announce that the street sign will not stay this low. It will be, it'll be raised after, after the news conference and all three.
three blocks of Michigan Avenue are being named Studebaker.